Hi everyone. In this video, I will walk you through the correct sequence of connecting electrical supply control equipment in an electrical wiring. All right, so as you can see here, we have various devices that need to be connected that control the electrical supply to an electrical wiring. So these are some of the devices we use. These are cutout fuse. These are an energy meter. These are main switch. These are consumer unit. Okay, so let's have a quick look of the correct sequence of connecting these devices for an installation. So there should be a service cutout. There should be an energy meter that takes record of the electricity that will be used in the wiring. And then there should be a main switch and then a distribution board that distributes power to the various circuits in the wiring. Let's see how this equipment are connected in the right sequence okay so first of all from the utility pool the first point of connection is the service cutout here so usually a cutout fuse is used for the service cutout it is a specially designed fuse specially made for this purpose and that connects between the main supply that comes from the utility pool and then the meter the service cutout fuse actually acts as the first line of defense at a point where electricity enters the building from the utility pole. So in case of a fault in these main cables, this fuse will blow disconnecting supply to the wiring, including the meter. So in a way, this fuse also protects the energy meter from any damage as a result of excessive current now one thing that this fuse does also is that before the introduction of prepaid meters this is where the electricity supply authority will disconnect the main supply to a wiring in case they don't pay their electricity bill then the next thing that follows in the sequence is the energy meter so after the service cutout the connection goes to the energy meter the energy meter is what measures the amount of electricity that will be used in the wiring. Then from there, it connects to a main switch. So the main switch is a switch that controls the flow of electrical supply to the whole building. Okay, so this is how it works. This main switch is always placed outside the building of the wiring so that it can be easily accessible in case of emergency. Most of the time, consumer units or distribution boards are installed inside the house. And so in the event of any emergency, it is very difficult to disconnect the main supply from the wiring. But if there is a main switch that is placed outside, it makes it very easy to disconnect the supply when there is an emergency. So now, if we have a service cut out that is installed already, that can serve the same purpose as this main switch would do. But the truth is that the service cutout and the meter are the responsibility of the electricity supply authority. And so as a professional electrician, you are responsible to install this main switch as part of your wiring. The next in the sequence is the consumer unit. Now, the consumer unit is the heart of the electrical wiring. So there are circuit breakers that distribute power to the various circuits in the wiring. Also, in the consumer unit, there must be a main switch that disconnects the main supply from all the circuit breakers in the wiring. But in case you need to do maintenance on this consumer unit, then the main switch outside becomes very useful because in that case, you have to isolate the supply using the main switch outside. All right, so from this consumer unit, then we distribute power to the various circuits that we want to install in the wiring. So the service cutout comes first. This is the responsibility of the power supply authorities. Then the energy meter comes second, also under the control of the power supply authority. Then there must be a main switch outside the building where power can be isolated in cases of emergency and then in case of maintenance. Then from the consumer unit, power is distributed to the various circuits in the wiring. 
Okay, so in case we are using changeover switches, then the changeover switch comes before the consumer unit. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please stay connected. In case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please kindly do and share the videos with others. And if you have learned something useful from watching this video, please kindly hit on the like. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video.